What's up and what's going on, Super Cichlid people? It's me, Mr. Super Cichlids, and I'm back with another Super Cichlids video. Today was supposed to be an update video on the fry, how they're doing, all that sort of good stuff. However, I do have some extremely unfortunate news for you guys and girls. Um, the female did pass away 12 hours after spawning. Uh, that was about two days ago, three days ago. And I just haven't had time to make a video. So I've been putting it off and I finally found the time to put together a video um, saying what happened and what I think happened. And it's pretty simple. I just think she had sunken belly. Um, she wasn't ready to spawn and the male pushed her to spawn. She spawned and then she kind of just started acting really weird after that. She disappeared. She was hiding behind the filter and went to bed thinking all was gonna be well, woke up in the morning and she had actually passed away and she was just under this rock here. Um, I went ahead and scooped her out and flushed her down the toilet like I normally would for any fish that passes away. And I quickly checked Live Fish Direct's policy on dead fish and time frames, and they do accept um, or refund um, fish that die within 14 days. So I went ahead and called them and contacted their email as well. Josh got back to me extremely quickly and he did inform me that they were gonna send out a new female for me as it was half my order and that's what they thought the right thing to do was. And I got that tracking number today. So that means that the fish is gonna be arriving tomorrow. Unfortunately, I do have work tomorrow. I can't just skip out on work as I am an essential worker. Um, and yeah, I'm not gonna be doing an unboxing on that because I'm at work and my parents are gonna be doing it. They don't know anything about fish as it is. So I went ahead and wrote detailed notes right here, as you can see how to acclimate her, get her set up properly. And I'm gonna put her in this breeding box for the first couple days, just until she gets used to the tank and the water. Um, I really don't want the male beating up on her, trying to spawn with her right when I get her. Um, I want her to get comfy and make sure she's eating well before I go ahead and release her into the tank so that the same thing doesn't happen over again. I don't think it will. I think that female that I got was a bit of an exception. She did have a sunken belly. She wasn't doing great, wasn't eating great, not a great appetite overall. However, the male is doing fantastic. Look at him. He is quite the little character. He's got great color on him as well, which I couldn't be more excited about. I'm hoping, praying that the female also has that dark blue color and black around the outsides of the bottom fins, the bright golden head, um, just because those are traits that I want in my rams. I wanna be breeding the highest quality electric blue rams that I can. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications if you don't want to miss that inevitable Super Cichlids giveaway, which will be six fry from the German Blue Electric Blue Ram breeding pair. Uh, whenever they do spawn and produce viable fry, I'm going to be giving away and shipping out six of those fry to you to get into your tanks. Um, and that's going to be a really basic video and contest entry. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And until next time, this is Mr. Super Cichlids and I'm signing off. Peace.